Hi, one of your very first packet tracer assignment is called getting familiar with packet tracer physical mode. And as part of that activity, you have to move some equipment uh, around. Most of the activity is pretty straightforward and you can uh, just follow along with the instructions. But I did want to provide a little tip for you when you get to part four, installing a backup router. So you can see on the screen that we are looking at the physical mode for the branch office wiring closet. We see the rack on the left. We see a uh, cork board with various cables. We had the console cable, um, some straight through cables, uh, fiber, and then we have uh, coax and some USBs. And on the right hand side, we have shelves with some equipment not yet used. And in the center bottom here, we have a table. I have finished part of the assignment and you can see that I have the PC1 connected up to the access point and the edge router. So down here in part four, we are to install the backup router. And we're told that newer models of networking devices uh, are sometimes connected through USB rather than RS-232, an older interface. We're going to inspect the shelf over here and find that backup router which we can see is on the fourth shelf down, it looks like. I can zoom in a bit. If it's harder to see, there's the backup router. We are also told to click and drag that backup router to an empty spot in the rack. And I am suspecting that some of you might be having some difficulties doing that because by the time you slide over here to the rack, you can no longer see the router. And there seems to be, um, well, let's just try it here. We can start dragging and then we get that ugly, uh, red circle with the slash through it saying, nah, can't do it. So what I am going to recommend is that you zoom out uh, absolutely as far as you can on your screen view. And at that point, you should be able to see part of the shelf and part of the rack. So now if I click that router, I can go through some yellow regions and I don't have to get it completely on the rack. I should be able to just get it partially and now it's sprung into place on that rack. Now I am able to click that backup router and look at or inspect its front and rear views. I will zoom in so that I can see the front and the rear more closely and I can now click the button to power that router on. So that should 
help those that were having a little bit of difficulty moving things around. Sometimes you might have to adjust the zoom in or out. You can see that I am now zoomed all the way out, but I can click zoom in if I need to inspect some device more closely. I certainly hope that was a help to you. And uh, I, there are many, many packet tracers left to go and reach out if you have any difficulties. Um, I think it'll be a good semester. I think you'll learn a lot. Stay tuned.